Welcome back, friends. I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. Maybe a few little sprinkles out, say, towards the Mountain Empire right now. Outside of that, it's been a pretty cloudy afternoon. It's been a pretty warm afternoon. Future tracker showing that at 11, maybe a few showers around. Nothing more than that. We're pretty cloudy at that point. It's really after about 4 a.m. when things are going to get going. Okay, and initially it looks like farther south towards the Mountain Empire. You're going to have rain farther north, say, towards Bland County. Could have a little bit more in the way of snow. But Roanoke, Lynchburg, south side. Highlands, you're still dry at around 4 a.m. That changes by around 6 a.m. This is 9 a.m. And you'll notice areas safe from, uh, say, Pulaski, Floyd, northern parts of Franklin counties into Bedford County, up north into uh, the southern highlands could be dealing with snow, while southern parts of the New River Valley and south side might just be dealing with rain, maybe a little bit of sleet. Now, the good news is this is a very quick moving storm system. It arrives here by around 4 a.m. It's gone by around 3 p.m. on Saturday, and then we're going to dry things out for a little while late Saturday afternoon into even most of Saturday night. Now, by Sunday morning, after about 5, 6, 7 a.m., we're going to have a little bit of freezing rain and sleet developing, especially towards the NRV and Mountain Empire. Looks like we'll have the best chance for some freezing rain and sleet Sunday morning in areas along and west of the parkway. East of the parkway, maybe a little bit of freezing rain, but it's mainly just a cold rain, and then the activity will start to wind down here a little bit as we head into later Sunday. So there's a look at the timeline for the weekend events. Let's talk about impacts and accumulation. Friday night into Saturday, we are right now going zero to one inch for areas in white. This includes Bland, most of Giles, Montgomery, Roanoke, Bedford, Lynchburg and Amherst County. So th this area in white zero to one inch. We think that the highest numbers will be attained in this pink area around one to perhaps three inches of snow elevation dependent. The higher you go up in elevation, the more snow you're going to see with this. We think at this point, say towards Bath, Allegheny, parts of Craig, northern parts of Botetourt, western parts of Rockbridge counties. Areas in pink will probably see one to two, even three inches of snow. Again, most of this will probably be on the grass. Why? Because of road temperatures. Road temperatures right now are in the 40s and 50s. The grass is not nearly as warm, so we don't expect a whole lot of travel impacts. We don't expect any power outages. Highway 460 and points north power outages very low road trouble. There could be a few mountain secondary roads that become a little bit slick by tomorrow morning. Bridges and overpasses may become a little bit slick as well, especially in those areas I just highlighted in pink, uh, but I'm not expecting this to be a huge impact event for us. The wet pattern will continue into next week. We are looking at anywhere from two to four inches of rain, so flooding will be possible for now into the middle of next week. You'll notice that the chance for precipitation is there really for about the next seven days or so. By late next week, this pattern may actually change a little bit. Right now it's 59 in Roanoke, but 19 in Chicago, 10 in Omaha. That's the cold air that is filtering in here. It's 54 right now with Phil, 62 in Danville. Your forecast for tonight, we are looking at cloudy skies. Precipitation forms later. Lows in the 30s and lower 40s for tomorrow. Rain, snow, sleet ends. Temperatures in the 40s falling into the 30s by the afternoon. 54 on President's Day, 30s Tuesday, 40s Wednesday, 50s Thursday and Friday. Most of Tuesday's rain, but Tuesday night and Wednesday morning we have may have more wintry weather headed our way. Right now it's too early to pinpoint if it's going to be more snow or ice, so stay tuned. Regardless, by Wednesday afternoon it should change over to just a cold rain.